for years surfboards been evolving and uh, actually fins as well so um, we're gonna have a look at the single fin twin fin thruster quads yeah everything because it's very different to surf a single fin or quad or thruster or twin fin yeah you'll see so let's dive into it and do not forget to subscribe by clicking on the little button subscribe right there and the little bell as well to make sure you get the notification of course i know you do i know you know it and uh, yeah so let's go and dive into the different setups hey guys so the first one is a single fin the single fin is kind of the the grandpa of all the different setups as uh, yeah it started quite a long time ago now yeah i do remember back in the days in hawaii when we were surfing wooden planks 50 kilos quite epic yeah, yeah. i remember a guy came up to, uh, with the idea of uh, hey, why not put a fin on a board just avoid killing each other as we are surfing the same waves every time so yeah oh like, yeah for sure they started true story so the single fin, the idea behind this fin is just to have one fin in the middle of the board like that to give you less drag and that means more speed. If you don't have that much drag, just with one fin you have more speed. And uh, doing so you'll have also more hold uh, to, to hold your line because it's quite a big fin so it goes deeper in the, in the water. So you'll have good hold to hold your line and uh, yeah. Uh, the con on that is just that you won't have that maneuverability that you can find on the thruster but still if you have time if you like big walls if you like big lights just cruise man mm, take your time go in single and now it's the age of the twin fin yeah time flies eh? when the 70s with mark richards uh, back in the day he was surfing on the asp world tour uh, and everyone was basically surfing single fin and the guy just came up one day oh i have a twin fin now the guy came up with the twin fin and uh yeah the guy had more more maneuverability more control and still keeping speed so it was more precise and uh yeah it was mark richard as well so that helps the con on this kind of fin is that uh it holds quite well in head eye surf but when it gets bigger it, it tends to slide out a bit uh, so it's not yeah it's kind of the con of this uh, setup it tends to, to slide out when you're on the rail you can just disengage and you can just fall and you can just lose your head and you can just you know but if not fast hold cool retro mark richards by the way i have the mark richards uh, right here so quite straight, upright, quite good if you want to have a, a, more exp a more performance approach on twin fin. And you can even add this little bad boy there. Yeah, if you want to add an, an extra hold on your board and to have more control. Uh, personally, uh, when I ride twin fin, I try to go on performance twin fin uh, surfboards because I'm more performance kind of guy, at least I try. And I really like this uh, idea of having that because I really like pushing like uh, a bourrin in French. I don't know the word in English. I put the translation there. Anyway, so cool. Quite cool. Oh, it's gonna be time to put some sunscreen on. Huh? So now we are in the 80s and we have these bad boys, these little ones. We have a set of thruster. Yeah, one day, I don't know why. Uh, Simon Dawson uh, came up with the idea of putting three fin on his board. The guy wanted to have some more control uh, on his board and the twin fin was a bit like uh, uh, sketchy in big surf so he wanted to add a, a central a middle fin and the idea behind that is just to add maneuverability, stability and control so you are able to, to just push hard like a beast in your turns and still uh, have uh, a good hold so yeah nice in big surf nice nice in small surf so quite good and now it's the setups that you can find on all the uh, pros surfboards so that means something no just the con on this uh, setup is because you have the middle fin you add drag to your board so it slows you down a bit compared to a twin fin but to me if you are looking for performance that's the best 
setup. And now we are going to talk not about one, not about two, not about three, but about four fins. Yeah, we're going to talk about the quad. So the quad is basically you take the two side fins of a thruster set and you add these two little rear fins. Yeah, how good, how good it is. Huh, these fins are just uh, made to, to take the speed of a twin fin because you don't have the middle fin and the control of a thruster because you add fins. Yeah, you have two, two more fins even if they're smaller. So yeah, so you have the control and the speed. It's quite good if you want, if you are a powerful surfer, you like to relay to your calves because it will allow you to, uh, to hold your line. You'll have two fins on each side of the board, which is good to really lay into your calves. But sometimes it can feel a bit loose because you don't have this middle fin to add the stability. So you can feel like it's holding, 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 and then you go on the lip and you push a bit too hard and you just hold, <coughs> slides out and you're out. It happened to me a few times, but if not, uh, what I think of the quad setup, it's super cool. If you're a powerful surfer, and you like carving, well, to, I mean, anyone should try quad, anyone. Here it is, that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, just go to the comments below or you can contact me directly on Instagram. It will be a pleasure to talk with you. Uh, yeah, so see you in the next video and uh, you.